Okay, uh, I want to put something in perspective here relating to maybe some people are getting a bit worried about um, the Philippines and its risks. Um, a lot of the risks are based on where you are, and I want to give you a, a prime example in Worcester. Uh, Worcester is where my parents live, and a friend of mine who's now moved to Cheltenham used to have this little council flat, and it was up, um, was it? It's at Warnden, Warnden, not Warnden Villages, which is like house association and private, but a traditional council estate, Warnden. Um, it's quite funny because the tone of Warnden is often used as Neanderthal way, you know, the uh. um, But anyway, so mate invited me to stop over the weekend because he was on the night shift and um, he was basically, that was it, he was on a late shift so he was coming in about I think 10 o'clock um, well and there's two stories combined here first one the flat above him um, a guy was allegedly a drug dealer he got stabbed to death 64 times um, a year later I go to stop over at mate's place I thought alright it's 10 o'clock because I said will you come out on Friday night and he's like nah I can't be bothered I've got work and blah 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 by the time I get back so I thought alright we'll have a few beers at your place and play the Xbox or something so anyway he, I've got there and basically waiting for him to turn up from his night shift his late shift he's on 6 till 2 till 10 2 till 10 shift I've got headphones on, I'm talking to April, it's, it's actually <laughs> one of the first conversations we had, um, literally, it's like uh, that weekend was when we actually got in touch with each other, um, but anyway, I'm sat there with the headphones on, chatting away, and there's a knock at the door, I don't answer the door, it's not my house, and it's a councillor's date, I'm a bit fussy like that, <laughs> um, so I left it. Um, about an hour later, there's a big knock at the door. Bang, bang, bang. It's two police officers. Um, they're like, "What do you want?" You know, I said, "Oh, there was a pizza." I said, "No pizza delivery here, because there's nobody here." You know, I'm just waiting for a mate to come home. Oh, the guy had been assaulted on the doorstep. He'd been hit with a metal bar, um, knocked unconscious, and there was blood splatter up on the um, the canopy of the flats you know but below the stairs of the next flat and there was blood splatter all up there up the wall um and like oh um can we come in and look around because there was a description of a guy so to help yourself looked around went so mate turns up and we're just sort of like chilling out next thing is just banging at the door and outside we're looking outside can't see what's going on and Basically, somebody vandalised my car, very kindly. Um, these are the guys from the pizza restaurant. Obviously, it had been a racial assault, you know. Me, um, talked to somebody in the Philippines, and my mate's actually Greek. So obviously, it was a racial assault against um, a Pakistani guy, a British-Pakistani guy, that was delivering the pizza. Obviously not. Um, next thing, just mind our own business, like about two o'clock in the morning, a dustbin get thrown through the window by the people from the restaurant again. At that time, I just said to her, I'm, I'm going home. <laughs> I can't put up with this crap over the weekend. Um, but that's just an example of the madness that is in today's world. And the only reason my friend was getting all that hassle is quite simply drug addicts. Um, they're not drug addicts in his that he knows but they're in the council estate Worcester is full of heroin addicts nobody talks about it in the media um, if you go to McDonald's they've got UV lighting they stop them finding their veins from shooting themselves up with heroin in the toilets etc um, they're just full of drugs it's a horrible place and they, they make it out as if it's some beautiful place Maybe 20 years ago. But these days, it's just riddled with drugs. 
Um, and I just wanted to put that in perspective. And I used to deal with housing association and council properties. And I would deal with properties where people had locked children in cupboards. And I don't want to tell you the state the places are in, but they're, they're pretty bad, pretty grim. Um, <laughs> so I just want to say that the Philippines is no better or worse than anywhere else. The reason this case becomes a big one is quite simply it's a foreign national. Um, there's been other stuff in the Philippines, but I'll be honest with you, there's a lot of stuff in Worcester that doesn't even hit the newspaper. Um, when I met a senior police officer a few years back relating to one of these community things where business leaders and all sorts were invited along for a chat, he told me everything was fudged. Um, he actually advised me, he wanted to see the reality. He says, go to any A&E on a Friday or Saturday night and you'll see how bad things really are. And that's the that's reality. Most of the time in the West, it's hidden from us. All right. Thanks for watching.